know, you keep seeing shows go away that you love and it's just the money thing, which is unfortunate. Another incredible show, Good Girls. Um, if the show didn't get canceled, do you think Greg and Annie would have ended up together at some point? I think they would have. I think that was kind of the, um, a little bit of the hope end game. Yeah, they were just such a, like a fun duo. Her and I had so much fun together. And uh, Jenna Bands, who created, who I've worked with several times, is just one of my favorite people to work with because she's so collaborative and gets characters so well and would write just fun scenes to do. And with May, and it like our dynamic on screen is kind of our dynamic in real life. It was just <laughs> like, yeah, guys, just go bicker, just bicker, just give each other a hard time. I was like, all right, cool. Let's like see. And like May loves to just try and crack me. And I love to like pretend like you're not funny. You're just annoying. <laughs> and like her goal is always to like make me laugh. And, and she's very good at it. Was it a shock when it wasn't renewed? I was shocked and really bummed. I was super bummed. I know, you know, it's between COVID and networks and everything. Everything comes down to a penny. And unfortunately, I mean, I know that was the same thing with LA's Finest. It was just the way we would have had to shoot that show during COVID, it wouldn't work. Like we need to be on the busy streets of LA and yeah. you know, it just wouldn't, we couldn't have shot it the way that show needs to be. And, um, and I think with good girls, part of it, I think it was a lot of money stuff and you know, you keep seeing shows go away that you love and it's just the money thing, which is unfortunate.